The thing I think that I enjoy the most and I get the most out of being a mentor is the opportunity to, to be part of something positive, to come back to that camaraderie. My name is Melissa Amaker. Um, I've been in the Air Force Reserves for 11 years. Uh, I was in Iraq. Um, November 2003 to March of 2004. Dan Frontiera, United States Army, New York Army National Guard from 1985 to 2006 and a tour in Iraq from the end of 2004 through 2005. My name is Jack O'Connor. I was in the 82nd Airborne from 1968 to 1970 and I served in uh, one year in Vietnam. My name is Manny Welch. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. I served from 75 to 79 on the USS Coral Sea, CB-43. Oh, my name is Patrick Welch. I served in the United States Marine Corps from 1964 to 1968. I served in the Republic of South Vietnam. I landed with the first troops there in March of 1965. Uh, spent six months in country and then I was wounded and then spent the next two years in hospitals while they put me back together and then I was medically retired. I was with Judge Russell uh, back in uh, when he formed the drug court and the mental health court. I was the director of Medicaid for Erie County. So I happened to be in a courtroom when they had a mental health client who was a veteran and he wasn't doing well. And Judge Russell asked me and Hank Porowski, who is his court coordinator, who was a Marine, if we would talk to him. Make a long story short, all that man needed was to get connected with other Vietnam veterans at the VA hospital. When Hank and the judge seen that, an idea went off in our head. This, there's something here. So Hank and the judge asked me to set up a, a mentor group while they set up the veterans court. So that's how it started. You know, this was a lot like being a platoon sergeant again. You could get to know the, the, the individuals in front of the judge. You weren't there to solve their problems, but you were there to help them rebuild their puzzle of, of their service to give them you know, the mission, the purpose, the structure that we had all felt when we were in the military. There's a lot, an awful lot of good people that served in the military in Vietnam, came home and wound up in jail. And some of them deserved it. Uh, they, got, they did the crime, they do the time. But many of them would have been very, very well served if we had had a veterans court before. And I looked at that and said, you know, this is something that I need to be engaged in. It kind of opened up the door for me to get with people that really understand, understood who I was, where I was, things that I've done, and that was the veteran mentors. And upon my completion of the Veterans Treatment Court, I became a mentor. From a veteran standpoint, I, I don't get any better feeling than at the end of the day being able to go home and know that I made a difference that day in at least one person's life. And at my age and where I'm going now, I've been very, very fortunate. And right now, it's all about trying to give back to others who haven't been as fortunate as I have, and that's the greatest satisfaction I get. Our role as a mentor, um, we do a couple things. We help connect you with services um, for whatever you need to get your life back on track. And we are also there kind of to pat you on the back when you're doing good. And when you're not doing good, um, we are all volunteers here, and we've all been through it. We might not have the same story that you do, um, but we've all faltered at some point. What they get out of being part of this is a sense that someone cares, a sense that they belong to something again. It's something, you know, every one of us has served in that uniform. The 0.45% of our population has worn that uniform. Belong to something special. I think that it provides them with a sense of normalcy. To sit across the table from someone who says, you know, I've been through what you're going through, I understand. Um, <clears throat> and it makes them able to open up and to just kind of accept um, that everyone has problems and that they can get through it too because other people, you know, there are other people out there who have been through what they've been through. We can always put somebody with a client of whoever's in court to help them get through whatever they're getting through. And that's a big piece, having somebody that you can talk to about stuff that you need, you know, and the mentors can go to the resources to get that done. The thing I think that I enjoy the most, and I get the most out of being a mentor, is the opportunity to, to be part of something positive, to come back to that camaraderie. Um, you know, when I retired in 2006, 
I was comfortable with my decision to retire. But every day since then, I've missed that. I've missed that, that structure. I've missed the guys. To, to watch them take every one of those steps, to know that you had some little piece of it, some little part of it, that's a great feeling. It's a great, a great sense of accomplishment and a sense of fulfillment at the end. I think we're all one step away from where these guys are in court. We all know how close we came to being arrested and screwing up. We all had issues. And I think the, these mentors see that and they want to help these guys get back on the right track. My suggestion would be to, you know, other fellow veterans, you know, it, it, if somebody helped you, what can you do to give back to help somebody else?